Um, so my name is Victoria Soff and I'm so excited to talk to you about the Ship and Fountain in downtown Meadville. When we did the project in 2010-2011, uh, it was a 150-year-old cast iron fountain, and so now with quick math, that makes it a 160-year-old cast iron fountain, and it is the second oldest in the country. So um, you'll be able to see through some of the photos that you'll, um, it had gotten so worn down. It was, at the time that we took it under our wing, it was painted so many different times. The basin was a bright blue and the fountain itself and the fence were were painted white. And, and as we found out throughout the project when everything was sandblasted, it had been painted so many times you couldn't even see the detail on it. And so they were just like, okay, it's kind of cool, but it's tilted and it was more of an eyesore than it was a, a focal point for, for the area. And it was at the same time that my dad was running unopposed as um, the city mayor. And, and he was running unopposed, so he kind of knew, unless something crazy <laughs> happened, that he would get the position. And there was a dress shop downtown, and I was too young for prom. So I kind of used it as a prom dress. And I was like, oh, we should have a party. We had always joked about having you know, an inaugural gala. Um, and my friends were just encouraging enough that we said, well, hold on. We can make this happen. And, and so we did. And we said, we can't just throw ourselves a party just because, that's a little pretentious. So we said, well, why don't we have the ticket sales go to Saving the Fountain? You know, everyone talks about it. Uh, Mom and dad are both born and raised in Meadville as as all of us in this little committee <laughs> that we had. And, and we had it uh, January 10th or 11th of 2011, and, and we did. We had piggy banks. Um, as part of the decorations that on one side say um, the save the, or pennies for the fountain and on the other side it says save the fountain fund and we disperse those around town. People even as recently as a few years ago were still turning in those piggy banks filled with just loose change and, and every cent, every dollar counts, especially when um, the, the gala itself brought in about 42 hundred dollars and it was a seventy-five thousand dollar project plus uh, with the brick walkway and the buy the brick uh, campaign that is ongoing still even to this day uh, it was about a ninety thousand um, dollars that that we raised and uh, that went to the project and the really important thing is that we still have these piggy banks and we still are selling bricks because what we don't want is for the city to ever have to go through another $75,000 potential project. So it was super legit, you know, they said from day one no taxpayer money would go towards it because that was a big concern at the time. Um, they, th the city had to step in and do the more official things, so getting the, um, RFPs, requests for proposals, and, and all of those different, you know, into it, you know, deep down things. Um, and then there was uh, the Iron Foundry out of Alexander City, Alabama. The uh, Robert, team from Robertson uh, came in and they had the best bid and they said, we're gonna sandblast it. We're going to recreate these missing pieces out of the cast iron. You know, we're not gonna just plaster them in. They, they recreated some of the fishtails and the, you know, the special leaves and the intricate work of the fountain to bring it back to its original beauty. And Freddie and the fish, which is the little guy on the top of the fountain, he was res restored back to his former glory, and, and it's, it just flows so beautifully now. It's, you know, not just in like a metaphorical way or, or anything, but it's, it's so beautiful. And now instead of being an eyesore in the middle of downtown Meadville, which is also the county seat, it, it's a beautiful thing. And, and now from that, the city got trash cans that have this black iron work and they have they have benches now that go with the flow and, so, and they even got um, recently like uh, flower baskets that hang on the armory on the old armory uh, which is now the city building 
location and, and people in downtown Meadville and Chestnut Street has really, it, I think it helped remind people that you can be proud of Meadville and you can take care of the city that we live in. Um, and, and you know, we have great big pink awnings on Chestnut Street and we have new facades and new uh, exposed brick. And, and now in light of everything, we a uh, couple of our alleys are closed off during the summer months and we have bistro lighting. And it just has this like almost a rebirth. And it took a long time for people to get there, but I'm happy that on the 10th anniversary of, of the fountain being in place, that, that Meadville cares about Meadville again.